Well, welcome to um, Austin SCBWI. We are here today to share some about our chapter and what the Society of Children's Book Writers and Illustrators do and what our chapter does and um, some of our members' books, which we'll be playing on the screen right here. Um, hopefully it's gonna start by itself. I think it is, but if not, I guess I can move it along too. Maybe I can, maybe I can't, I don't know. Um, so my name is Samantha M. Clark and I am the author of The Boy, the Boat and the Beast and the upcoming Arrow, which comes out on June 22nd. And um, I'm the regional advisor for our chapter. And we also have Lindsay Leslie here today with us, who's our assistant regional advisor. Lindsay, hi. Hi, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you want to introduce yourself? Sure, hi, I'm Lindsay Leslie and I'm a picture book writer and I have four books, well three that are out, um, Dusk Explorers, This Book is Spineless, and Nova the Star Eater. Fantastic. So um, in the background here we've got a bunch of books that are coming out from our members uh, that e have either come out from our members in the past year or are upcoming through the end of 2021. We have around 360 something um, members in all. And probably at least I think a third of that are published, um, which, is, which is a pretty large amount, I think. And we have some incredible talent in our chapter all over Texas, in fact, but I'm really especially proud of our chapter. And um, we have won the our somebody from our chapter has won the Crystal Kite, the SBWI Crystal Kite Award for Texas and um, and Oklahoma for the past three years. And I'm hoping for this year too. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so we, so the Society of Children's Book Writers and Illustrators is really about helping writers and illustrators to create better books and have better careers. And um, to do that, we provide programming, we provide support, um, advice, pretty much anything that we can to help people um, have fantastic careers. And the society is now 50 years old, which is just amazing. Or is it just the, the conference that's 50 years old? I don't know, but the co I know that there's a 50 year anniversary this year and it's run by a um, very like a handful of people out of the LA office, but all of the chapters and there are so many chapters, including the Southwest Texas chapter, which Carolyn is is um, the um, assistant regional advisor for, and um, the we've got five chapters just in Texas alone: Southwest chapter, Southwest Texas chapter, the North Texas chapter, Austin, Houston, and Brazos Valley College Station. And um, in Austin and the surrounding areas, we put on a big conference every single year. And at that conference, we um, have um, editors and agents come in and we have, um, they do presentations. We've been, we, we pivoted to have it virtually last year and it will be virtual this year too, in one week on May 1st to 2nd. So um, we're very, very excited about that. And in fact, some of our Vanessa and um, the Pumphreys who were in the, the previous slide will be on faculty this year, which I'm really excited about. Um, and we do programming throughout the year on craft as well as um, career, um, how to get into publishing and for, for creators who are already published, how to make how to make your work even better, how to, um, uh, how to work with agents, how to work with editors, how to promote your books once they're coming out. And we do offer opportunities like this where we can help our members to promote those books as well. And um, Anne Winter, who's one of our members here, you see this here, this is her debut book, which is so exciting. I love, love sharing debut books. Um, very, very exciting. And this is Jason June. This is his debut chapter book. He had his debut pitch book a few years ago. He has um, two debuts coming out this year. 
this chapter book series that came out, I think, in February, and a y is debut YA is coming out on June 1st, which is amazing. Um, yeah, Lindsay, you want to add anything? Does anyone have any questions? I just want to add that I think without SCBWI, I don't think I would have the career that I have right now. Um, it's where I found my people and got to study uh, my craft in so many different ways and network. So the opportunities are, I feel limitless. There's so much that's given um, when you're a member of SCBWI. So I couldn't speak more highly of it. I agree. I don't think I, well, I know I wouldn't have the career that I have without SCBWI either. And there's lots of opportunities to um, also get involved. It's been a bit harder this past year because of the pandemic and we're all sitting in houses. But um, we do have monthly meetings, the Austin chapter, we have monthly meetings that are open and open to the public and free every single month, except for May, because we're too busy with our conference and we need a break after that. So <laughs> we're not really having a monthly meeting in May. But every other month we have a monthly meeting Anybody can come to that. They do not have to be even a member of SCBWI. So you can just come and check it out. And pri the meeting is the usually the second Saturday of every month. And it's the meeting the, we've got a speaker. The speaker starts at 10 a.m. But prior to that, we have um, we open up the the Zoom meeting at 9:30, just for social time, just for people to meet and chat and share their news and um, anything else. And here's Jason's um, uh, YA debut, which is coming out on June 1st as well. So we, you know, we try, and this is another debut that just came out like two weeks ago, I think. I'm so excited about it. It looks fantastic. Um, so, so, so yeah, so we, we have uh, lots of going on and you don't have to be a member to even take advantage of these things because you can, try out, um, you know, try out some of our sessions. You, there are always non-member prices for everything, although those, the, you get cheaper prices if you are a member of SVWI. Um, so we have lots of um, presentations. We have lots of, of scholarships that we run um, to help lots of different people um, create their, their best books and uh, and, um, oh, that's right, that's what I was gonna talk about, volunteering. Volunteering is also a fantastic way to get involved. When, when I joined um, the, the uh, I was volunteering with the Houston chapter when I lived in Houston. And then when I moved to Austin, I started volunteering with this chapter. And it was because I'm generally a very shy and introverted person. <laughs> so volunteering was a really great way for me to be able to um, to meet people and have icebreakers to talk to them about. When I, when I started as the regional advisor, I was not a, um, I was not a published author at that time, but it, and so it was very hard to talk to agents or editors at, or even anybody at, you know, at a conference or at an event, but I knew that I had to, you know, gather myself up and put myself out there. But as a volunteer, I could then talk to them on that level. And it was a huge icebreaker for me and it helped me to build up my confidence much more and be able to talk, which has been invaluable. I fully um, agree with that, Sam. I am the same way. I like to have a job. So yes. The volunteer opportunities are small to larger. So it's a, there's something for everybody. Yeah. And it's, and it's, it's, it, I mean, you're helping out your community, but it's more than that. It's about helping you to get involved and helping you to be um, a, a part of the community. Cause we really are a community when, when it's non pandemic times, you can really see that. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a website, austin.scbwi.org. And if you look at our events there, you find loads of events that are going on. We we're constantly having, um, stuff so our monthly meetings are on there lots of webinars that are coming up our conferences on there and for librarians um, we who are interested in learning more about Kidlet and would like to come to our conference for a 75% off which basically means that you're paying for $25 for the entire conference um, which is happening next week please email me at austin um, at 
scbwi.org. Email me at that email address and I'm going to send you a coupon because we really want librarians, especially when now we know that it's hard to come when it's um, not to our conference when when it's not um, when we're in person. But now virtually our conference is going to be recorded. So we'd love for you to come um, if you can make it on the day you know, on the weekend, you'll be able to meet a bunch of our members. And if you can't make it on the weekend, you can still learn and still get involved. We have fantastic members. And as you can see from these slides, all of these amazing books that have come out in the past year and will be coming out um, in the rest of this year. So very, very excited about that. So please email me and join me.